Hello, just a 45 minutes view in the last game. How are the legs feeling ahead of this Ipswich Town trip? Yeah, I feel good. Uh, I feel pretty fresh, you know, only playing half a game. Um, but nice to, you know, get three points in that in the group stage of the cup and um, yeah, positive day in the end. Ipswich, one of the biggest teams in this league, uh, a huge team of course. What are you expecting from them on the day? Um, probably expecting a fast start from them. The last home result was very good, so uh, expecting them to be confident at home and something we need to be wary of. Wary of. Um, and yeah, I've played there a few times before, so um, looking forward to going back there and playing on a, a nice pitch and a nice stadium. How do you kind of explain to the lads dealing with the occasion, a big stadium, all the fans in, in the stadium? Can you have an impact with our lads in that regard? Uh, I think I think everyone can, you know, in the team. We need to you know, settle it down and the crowd, will, they'll be confident, like I said. And, um, you know, we can't give them any any chances to, you know, get on top of us with the, with the advantage they've got. But, yeah, we'll look forward to that. Just looking at the stats before we came in here, their strikers on eight goals, I'm sure you've seen that. Is that something you as a defender personally, you look at stats like that, their strikers and, and their numbers? Not particularly. I, I'm aware of you know who's scoring goals and things like that. It's, it's, it's something to be wary of, but it's not like I, I focus too much on it because then you can end up getting too worried about it. Um, it's something to be wary of, and it's something that you know we'll, we'll, we will look at individuals and how they perform and how they get the goals, and that's something we'll be looking to nullify. Just a, a bit of a left field question. It's World Mental Health Day on Saturday. How important is it for for everyone, especially but in the athletes as well, to, to maintain a well mental health? It's yeah, it's huge. It's it's massive for for everyone to to feel to feel valued in their work and to feel uh, you know good and happy at home as well. It's so it's so important. Uh, it can affect you. So you can affect anyone, and you know it's something that we need to be you know more educated about, and everyone needs to know more about it in order to help everyone and you know help people when they get into those you know dark times. How important can football be, whether you're a player or a fan? Someone working in football, it's a massive tool, isn't it, to keep everyone happy? Yeah, I think football, it's escapism for people, um, you know, whether that's a fan, whether that's a player, you know, when I'm playing, I don't think about anything else. Um, fans, when they go and watch the, the games, you know, 90 minutes of, you know, just caring about how the team are doing. Um, so it's a great escapism and I think a lot of people missed it, you know, when no fans were there and uh, ourselves included, we missed the fans and I think that, you know, was probably detrimental to people's mental health and hopefully it's... You know, we're on the up, we're out of coming out of COVID and hopefully that will help people, you know, and be positive. All the best on Saturday, Colonel. Cheers, mate.